Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to introduce you to a mask from our African collection. It was made by the Dan Cultural Group, and it is wood with woven plant fiber for hair. Let's take a closer look. When we look at this object, we see a beautifully carved wooden face with a high forehead, beautifully curving arched eyebrows, and a very well-carved nose and mouth. In addition, plant fibers have been braided into beautiful, elaborate hairstyle on top of the head of this mask. When we look at the mask from a side view, we notice a few things. We get a better view of the beautiful hairstyle, and we see that it truly is a mask that would simply be attached to the front of a person's face. It would not go over the head, but it would simply be worn to cover the face. When we zoom in a little more closely, we can see that along the edge of the chin and lower cheek area, we see a progression of holes. These would have held some type of plant fiber beard. These masks were representative of spirits both of the, the forest and the household. These masks are traditionally danced by male dancers, although they can represent both male and female forms. Some masks are representative of the initiation rituals for young men. Some are more related to household duties, such as watching hearth fires, and other masks are more judicial. Masks are revered and highly regarded and traditionally passed down through the generations. New masks are rarely carved. And over time, masks that are particularly old and revered can ascend to becoming judicial masks. In other words, the purpose of the mask can sometimes change according to its age and the reverence placed upon it. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you join us for more Art Minute soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.